Trouble on the way. Just enjoying your entertainment. How gratifying. Have you come to defend your father's throne, Lord Rosfield? <laughs> the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. A realm without a ruler, an army, even a people. A veritable kingdom of dust. Truly, I see no throne to defend. No! Enough of your games, Kuka. Just tell me what you want. Sid's head in a box. Imagine my disappointment when I learned that he met his end at the hand of another. And my relief to learn that you had taken up his thrice damned name. Your master slew Benedicta Harmon and defiled her body. If you choose to bear that murderer's name, then you shall answer for his crimes. The only crimes I shall answer for are my own. Sid did everything in his power to save that woman, though she was long past saving. And so I did what he couldn't. It was me all along, Hugo. It was... you. You... you killed her. I did. And I am fortunate indeed. I had thought the most I could wish for was to take the life of one he loved, just as he did to me. But it seems I was wrong. And I shall have my revenge. We shared a dream! I would be the king of the world! She would be my queen! And together, we would rule like the gods we are! But you crushed that dream, ground it into dust! Hear me, Rosfield! You will pay! For what you've done, I'll tear you apart with my plans! And what of you? How many people have you killed? How many dreams have you crushed? You're not the only one who's seen their world fall apart around them. Get no pity from me, Kuka. No pity and no mercy.
I bite my hand, Prosphet. My hatred for you is unending. And real thing, let this palace be your grave! <laughs> the world has chosen. I am in my element. The earth will always be my domain!
I... I'll kill you! I'll kill you! I'll kill you! There, there. You mustn't get yourself worked up. Wait! Another time, Mythos. Is that all of them? I think so. Well, Luda scum. Who the fuck invited them? Not that that's the biggest surprise we've had today. Where did you learn to do that toggle? Not telling, eh? Suit yourself. Gav, we have to find Clive. Right, sorry. <sighs> You missed one. We were worried. So was I. I was so close. If it hadn't been for my gift, I would have finished him. I'm just glad you got out of there alive. When did the Royalists arrive? Right after you went inside. Just when we thought we were shot of Titans lot. In pile Odins. Not enough of them to worry us though. No. You didn't see the one who took Kukra away. So what? You think they came here to save him? I'll be fucked if I know what's going on, but every minute we spend racking our brains, that bastard's getting further away. So what do we do? We go back to the hideaway. I'm too tired to think. As are you, by the looks of it. After what Jill's been through. Let's worry about Kuka later, shall we? Aye. All right. Well, give us a chance to solve the riddle of your magic mud, too. Hey, how are you feeling? Ready to go home? Just look at this. Is this what you call? No more excuses. <sighs> no more, Gav. But we shouldn't. The question is. And what the hell were the. Mm. 
What who may have hurt him? And I'll talk to the lawsman about your fate if any fall. Look what I want it. It's all well and good. Right. Will do. Jill. I will. Vivian's doing what she can. We've sent her house out. No leads yet. All right. There he is. All right, Clive. Still busy saving the world. Mid. When did you get back? Mm, just now. What about your studies? Adjourned. Since Hugo Kupka invaded Rosaria. All the canvas in uproar about it. He's gone mad. He's turned rogue. It'll be us next. You try concentrating with all of that. All right, all right. You win. How long will he be staying this time? Don't know. A while, most likely. Any road, while I'm here, I was hoping you could do us a favor. Mid. You can't just expect me to. Please oblige her. While we are busy tracking down Kupka, you should have a little time to spare. Professor! Now there's a face I haven't seen in a while. Shouldn't you have it buried in a dusty old tome? <laughs> I did, till a familiar trill pricked my ears. As ever, your exuberance is a breath of fresh air, which successfully scattered the painstakingly assembled fragments of my thoughts. I'll take that as a compliment. Well, Clive, you heard the professor. So, I'll meet you in the story and when you're done. Wait, hold on. Breath of fresh air. Bloody tempest, more like. Oi, Otto, you got my gill. Huh? What are you all about? My fee for bringing Mid across. She said you were paid that. Did... The storeroom, was it? I wonder what Mid's plotting. Shouldn't you be getting some rest? I'm a busy man, mate. I'll get to the point then. Mate, you... And? I... Dad said I had a... That was his dream for me. But I'm helping... I've studied enough. I know that I... Well, well, well. All right. <laughs> Which is why... For me? Who else? <sighs> first things first, there's the designs. The other materials, are... apart from the wood. Is that everything? For now. Start. Materials and tools. That means Karen and Blackthorn. Kupka's head this time. You were born in Rosalith, weren't you? Must be hard. You know what came with the place. How's it coming along? Uh, nearly there. Just need to get these last boards now. Blackthorn. What's it look like? I have a comp. She requires. Do you think you can make them? Bloody. No. My thanks. Was one made spat from. Just now. She's planning to. Here's the list. Think you can? This lot. Excellent. It's paid. If it weren't. For... Indeed, it would. I'll send the stuff. Thank you. That just leaves the carpenter. Let's see if Bardoff's available. Well, don't just stand there gawping. 
cannot find a better price than that. Jill looked white as a sheep. <sighs> Should be enough to... Out, dude. So naturally, I... Th well, I'd love to, but I'm afraid... I'd glad... <sighs> it don't have to be, you know. That's right. I'll ask Ma. I don't mind if he does. Thank you, Martha. He went up to Cr far as I know. I'll look for him there, then. You do, Bernard. Oh, do? Bill and? <laughs> I, uh... Of course. Well, that there is... But I... I... But you're... A... It's the least I can... Thank... Oh! 
That should do it. <laughs> Thank you. How long is it? Well, people must be not. Oh, it may as well. I'm sorry. Ah, don't be. As soon as I'm done, I'll meet you there. That should take care of Mid's little list. All right, Clive? I am. That's brilliant. Is there? Nope. So as soon as Bernard gets... <laughs> See how Jill's faring. Shouldn't you be getting some rest, Sid? <laughs> ah. Taya. Recovering. Of course. Take good care of her. I'll do my best. Oh, Gav was. The shelves. Oh, that's right. He must have found some. Clive, where have you been? I've been wanting to ask you something. Where did you get it? Uh, they were crossing us. What do you reckon to? It's certainly Clive. In one of our own, his name... Fenrir the Fro... Now, the girl from the... One... Oh, you're saying that Jill... What? Just like Fenrir. People called him Mike just when his mark... You're right. Quite. He's latent, but it had only... Oh, get... <laughs> and regard why the beast had... I need you to introduce... <sighs> Well, I couldn't have done it without you. But I promise I'll pay you back. Just you wait. Then I look forward to... Now that that's settled, I wonder if Vivian's made any progress tracking down Koopka. I think I'll wait till mid some way to take a tour through the dungeon. Goes the Largely and we have myriads. If only we knew for well, if anyone can what word do you know, Cl you have nothing. <laughs> uh, Clive, have you got a minute? We, um, have a guest. A guest, Your trouble. It was a pleasure, in hindsight. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Byron? Clive, my boy! Tap a cask and stoke the ovens for your favorite uncle is here! <laughs> He 
Dalmechian government sues for peace. How shall we respond? If they're willing to accept their fault in the matter, I see no reason to refuse them. Still, uh, we must insist on substantial reparations. The twin side stores are not as bottomless as reported. Aye, and we have many more mouths to feed. We shall just have to have the Dalmex empty their treasuries for us. Of course, none of this would have been possible without your timely intervention, Prince Olivier. Indeed, I doubt any of us would have had the courage to trade words with the mighty Titan, nor less the wit to win him over. The Empire owes you a great debt. May the blessing of the crystals go with you, Your Highness. May the blessing of the crystals go with you. Very good. Now, let us come to the question of precisely when the Dalmex will withdraw their troops. Dion's fire could rid us of them in mere moments. The men of the Fist will not withdraw until a peace treaty is concluded. So let us keep the negotiations open, give them time to gather what gold and trinkets they can, and once they deliver that which we demand, what worth is a piece of parchment? Your Radiance, were Prince Dion to take the field, the enemy would surely send their own dominant to meet him. And while His Highness would of course prevail, there would be heavy losses on both- You need not fear Hugo Kupka. He is engaged on the Western Front. Even were the Dalmex to send for him, he would not arrive in time. As much as I would enjoy witnessing a clash between Bahamut and Titan, it is not to be. And what of your subjects, Your Radiance? If the fighting spread to the city proper, the people would bear the brunt of it. There will be losses, it is true. Yet for every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. The Empire will live on. Dion? Yes, sir. Prepare for battle. But, sire... Do not make me repeat myself. Return to your camp, and await my orders. If that is your wish, your radiance, I shall depart at once. Do the astrologers augur? The stars are in agreement, your radiance. The shadow of treachery hangs over Prince Dion. So 
Annabella's tales were true. You disappoint me, Dion. Through the good office, as are you. Which is why I kept. You were working with. I was. Then I have questions. Gladly. Uh, you there? There are two thousand go. Two. And I. A fleet sailing. Forgive me for not. What do you think, Vivian? I think. Come here, and I'll. Sh It is known that Kupka's forces entered Rosaria via its unguarded coast. So can the same be said of your visitors from Walud? Certainly her royal navy is famed for the efficiency with which it bears her knights from one battlefield to the next. And in the Ein Heyar, or Black Galleon, she boasts a vessel nigh as swift and every bit as feared as the kingdom's legendary cavalry. A fitting flagship for a land apart, her naval presence being crucial to her ambitions beyond Ash. Yes, it seems safe to assume that the Royalist did indeed enter Rosaria from the sea. So then, had you a vested interest in Titan's survival, whither would you take him? Why home to Drake's Fang, a place rich enough in ether to conjure the magics needed to mend his hurts? But would that not entail an arduous voyage around the Southern Cape? Let us say that the Royalists did put ashore with a mind to spirit Kupka away from under your very nose. Could that truly have been their plan for him? To load him aboard one of the ships flying Republican colors sighted off the coast near Port Isolde. To spend weeks at sea, being tossed hither and yon by unforgiving waves, his life hanging in the balance. No. The journey would mean Titan's death, and Kupka's faithful creatures would not allow it. So what then was the plan of our Waluda friends? Reports suggest they made not for the coast, but for the desert. And by cutting through the Velcroy, a party traveling light would have Titan back in his bed days before a galley could lurch into port. To wit, it was the Royalists not the Republicans who effected Hugo Kupka's safe retreat. I would stake your life on it. So it was the Waluders who spirited the wretch away. Now I think about it, the men seemed all as if they believed. <laughs> And you have your... It may well have gone... Uh, allow me. As luck would have it. I'd be glad of the company. Give me a moment to make... Very well, but... Mid's finished outfit no little... Otto. You're not going in there... Don't worry. I won't risk any more than I... The lens are in the fat. You have any trouble on the... Who is she? An old associate. We've heard nothing. Thanks. Sure... Don't look so worried. Thank fuck for the... Gav. Otter, you can count on her. All right, we shall.
I was a young man when last I walked this path. There's an old trading post not far from here. The road to Drake's Fang leads through it. The trading post it is. Our destination lies over that dune, beyond the ruins. Mark them well, Clive. It's all too easy to lose one's bearings in the sands. Many years ago, when you were just a boy, you and I rode this way together, accompanying your father on a scouting expedition to Drake's Fang. He let me come with you. I'm not surprised you don't remember. It was just before Joshua was born. You were so eager to be there when your brother arrived that you whipped your chocobo too hard on the journey home and fell from the saddle. <laughs> I shall never forget how Elwyn fussed over you as you sat in the sand, bawling like a babe. The soldiers were. So, Lord Cook has finally made his move. Ah, there she is, the good old Dalamil Inn. Do you know this heat has given me quite a thirst? A quick drink before we press on. Look, there. Those are Ashen Steeds. No doubt about it. And such a long ride from Stone here. Our Waluda friends must be soothing their saddle sores in the inn. Shall we join them? Run along and play now, Torgal. Dogs aren't allowed inside. Day to you. Eating? <laughs> Sorry about my pal. He only talks when his mouth's full. What do you recommend? Well, if you're after something light, we do a fine chocobo soup with lentils and honey. Two bowls of that then. An ale. Right you are. Hey, go! Coming! Your pal? Would you rather be my squire?
Grace, it is plain you are not yet well enough to travel. If you would only let me take you to someone who can better attend to your ills. No, we must press on. Prince Dion has returned to his camp and will soon depart for the front. I must speak with him at all costs. Miss this chance and I may never get another. You do understand that? Yes, Your Grace. But you must at least agree to take your medicine. I'll fetch you some water. Keep watch, they tell us, but all I see is sand. I hear they got our guest back to the Fang without any trouble. We'll be leaving soon enough. Why the Lord Commander dragged us all this way just to save that blockhead skin, I'll never know. Dominant or not, he's a bloody idiot. That'll be Cooker, then. <laughs> Shh. Well, let's get this down us. We have a long way to go. Hey, you! Uncle? Sorry. Can you walk, Your Grace? What's wrong? I fear trouble may be brewing downstairs. You two are travelers, are you not? Me and my companions are strangers here. Perhaps you'd be good enough to accompany us a while. Help us find our way. Sorry, lads. But we've got business in camera that can't wait. Ah, I'm sure you could spare us an hour or two. Come on, come on. Come on. Friend. to lose. Friend. Stay back, Uncle. Gladly. Your trouble. Uh, word of advice, miss. 
that soup could do with a touch more salt. <laughs> Now's our chance. Your Grace? I'm fine. Clive? What is it now? It... It's nothing. Let's go. We didn't know where to find Kupka before, we do now. The Royalists said to themselves, their guest is in the Fang. We should press on before any more of their friends turn up. <laughs> <laughs> 